Hey guys, it is the day after Christmas and I had two appointments in the city, which is two hours away. So I am do I did a grocery shopping today and um, I did a grocery shopping and this will probably take us through to the end of the month. And this is within that budget. So I actually had a $200 budget for food only. Um, but you'll see I got um, quite a bit of sales and if you are in the Bangor Brewer area, you should be able to pick up those sales as well. So I will show you those, or you can check out your own Walmart, because sometimes it's not just um, my area, sometimes other Walmarts will have those things as well. So we just got back home, we left this morning at eight, and it is almost five now, and we got home. So we did the two appointments, I had some other business to do, just one other thing that needed to get done in the grocery shopping. So I am going to show you what we got today. We got quite a few things done, but I also want to talk to you at the end of this video, I'm going to be discussing with you what we're going to be doing at, in January and February, and I'm pretty excited about it, guys. Okay, so this is what we have here. So this bacon right here, not the best bacon in the world, but it does not have nitrates in it, and that's the main thing that I look for. My daughter is rocking on a horse. I'll show you. So that is the background noise behind me. So I ended up getting six of these. I'm going to be making some um, corn chowder and I like to use bacon like this in the corn chowder. So we have those. So there's six of those. These were actually on sale for under five, which normally they're like seven dollars. So I was pretty excited about that. We got a thing of half and half and then these are the ones that um, Sweet Pea uses. I let her choose two. She still has one bottle left and then I end up getting one of those just for in case we haven't made dressing and I need, I'm kind of in a pickle. So I got one of those. I got some of these um, celery. These have really been inexpensive. These are only 98 cents. So I've been stuffing these with cream cheese. I've been stuffing them with peanut butter. Whatever we have I've been stuffing them with. I decided I'm trying to think of different ways to stretch meals without using starches and I'm going to experiment with some cabbage. Um, that will also help me in the growing season to know if I can use cabbage to be a stretcher then I can grow cabbage um, like periodically rather than having like huge harvests if that makes any sense. I'll explain that more in January and because January is when I plan my garden. So January, February is like total let's plan the garden type season. So we already have some of these inside of the refrigerator still and I think we have three in the refrigerator so I got two more of those. And then I have, let's actually go back here. They had sweet potatoes for 72 cents. No, they're not low carb but what I'll end up doing is we will be cutting these for sweet potato fries. And I'll probably do that with fish patties. That seems to be our go-to. We'll have a salad, um, fish patties, and sweet potato fries. And so this will probably actually do us two meals because our main is not the potatoes. The main is like the fish patties and the salad. And then we just have these kind of on the side. So that will work like that. And then um, five bags of onions. I was completely out of onions. I'm like, what is going on? How do I have no onions? I had some red onions, but not... Um, just plain onions, so I ended up getting five of those. I ended up getting 20 pounds of potatoes, um, cucumbers for salads, yum. I ended up getting these, these are five dollars for a fairly large container of kiwi. What I'll do is I'll slice those in half and give the kids a spoon and that would be a good snack. Tomatoes, the other day we had salad, um, some of the salads that we like, like taco salad or the um, BLT salad or whatever. And we did not have tomatoes and I was kind of bummed out. I got two bags of the Gala apples. That was the cheapest kind that there was there. Um, I got a thing of eggs. I do have like a flat and a half of eggs left over from the big cases that we got from Sam's. Um, but I'm going to need one more of those at least. And then I ended up getting some of this. We used some of these zeros. This is what Sweet Pea can have, but I've also just been getting just these instead of getting two separate things if somebody doesn't feel good or um, whatever. So I'll be back. Okay, so I moved around to the other side of the table. We have 
two of these cuties. These are low carb, lowish carb. They've been working well for an in-season type fruit that um, Sweet Pea can have. We've also been doing like half an apple in peanut butter because that would be about, depending, an apple's 15 carbs. So if we do half an apple, then that's like eight plus the peanut butter. But we just do like one tablespoon of peanut butter. We have a four carb peanut butter and that would equal 10. So we try to keep snacks 10 or under. So half an apple, um, an orange, uh, a mandarin, something like that is good for our morning snack. We got some more peppers. Um, I'm going to be making some butternut squash soup with one of these at least. And then I think the other peppers, I think I'm going to do a steak night this week and the peppers will go for that. And then we got some grapefruits. Sweet Pea likes these. Everyone likes these in our house and it's kind of a treat because we only can get them and they're only good like when they're in season. So, um, this would go with like a protein for breakfast. So we cut this in half and put them in the oven. And then we have like wannabe brown sugar. And we just sprinkle that on top. Can Are you I having help fun? You? Um, maybe in a couple minutes. You can help me put the things away, okay? Um, so that's what we would do with these. We might have either like um, a breakfast casserole or something and then have the um, grapefruit on the side. I have an idea. Can you help me by bringing the oranges into the... That's it? Yes, into the fridge. Thank you. That'd be very helpful. We got some, a handful of bananas. Okay. That is it for the food, but we got a lot of deals. When we first walked in, there was tons of Christmas stuff right in front of us, but not all of it was like right in front of us. We went back to like the little girl section because the way we walked around, I was looking for, um, wrapping paper but they didn't have any wrapping paper at that walmart but they did have christmas bags 50 percent off all the christmas stuff was 50 percent off so i'll show you what i got okay these were in the little girl section here and these were marked down uh can you see that five dollars so those are marked down to five dollars so i ended up getting this would be for my three-year-old Sweet pea is six, seven, nine. Did I do that right? Oh, yes. And then my just or almost going to be 12 year old. She is 11. She's going to be 12 in two days. So, got all those. $5 a piece. Those will get hung. Those will be for going out dresses for the springtime. You can see the short sleeves. Those will get put up until springtime and those will be some nice new going out dresses. They're really excited because look at the fabric on here. <laughs> they have like an underskirt and then an overskirt. So our going out clothes and our church clothes are the same thing. So they would either wear these to church or they would wear them to going out in public. Years ago, I used to try to get um, my kids like we just go out someplace but then i realized well, a lot of times they look dirty because they live on a farm mama. right so i want them to still be able to be what kids and be dirty next, um you can bring these into the fridge for me these grapefruit thank you at three you love being a helper so i want them to be able to have fun and to play and not worry about their clothes but yet when they go out not to look like they're dirty so we have going out clothes is what we call them church going out anytime we leave the house we try to wear like not respectable clothes but things that aren't dirty things that aren't ripped all right but i want them to be able to have the fun and rip their clothes or and dirty their clothes as well so these cups right here were 50 percent off as well let's see it was like three oh it doesn't have it there they were like 374 i believe it was for those and then the mini lights were also 50% um, off. So these were like $1.49 a piece. Um, some of ours we had to like finagle a little bit this year. So I figured if we got three new ones, then if any of them are actually broken, then we would be able to have them for next year. So those will just get put in the bin. We haven't put our bin away yet. Um, 
This is like a back massager. I thought it was kind of cute. I don't know if I'll ever use it, but I asked my daughter, I was like, do you think we'd use this? And she's like, yeah, we might. Um, okay. They had all their, if you're looking for anything like foot massagers, like back heating pad type things, any of those type of therapy type things, all of that was 50% off too, which is kind of shocking to me, but they must have had a lot of it. So look and make sure you look in those areas. They were right up front for us, but they might just be on sale in like side areas as well. So if you have not seen or heard about our, about our pajama saga, here you can bring the peppers into the fridge. So what happened was I ordered some pajamas, Christmas jammies for my children, and they ended up not coming on time. But I honestly think that I might have just got uh, in a pickle myself. It actually had like, it was on Facebook and it said like Old Navy um, Black Friday sale. So I clicked and I did whatever, but then when it rang through my bank, it rang through as like some foreign Hong Kong company. So I'm kind of thinking that maybe I'm just out my money. Anyhow, that is where my whole like pajama story went. I decided not to buy pajamas and we decided to do a family gift instead, but um, I was here and all of these were 50% off and they had all matching. So, please, please don't yell though. You can take the lettuce. Can you bring the lettuce to the fridge please? So we got these pajamas here. We're all 50% off. These ones I'm going to use this year. So for, this is actually for my one and a half year old. And then my three-year-old, my six-year-old, my seven-year-old, my nine-year-old, and my 11-year-old. Um, no, that is not lettuce. That is celery. But yes, you can bring those to the fridge. She's a great big helper. So those are going to be for this year, for them to wear this year. These right here are going in the closet until next year. Yes, I seriously am buying Christmas pajamas the year before. Okay, so all of these are 50% off as well. So this was originally 17. These were actually more than 50% off because these rang up 749. So that was more than that. This also rang up 749. So the toddler ones rang up less than that. Okay. The toddler ones rang up, I think like 399, where the kids rang up 749. Okay, so anyway, got the same sizes for the younger kids and then mine and my husband's pajamas. So the pajamas, the lights, the massager. So that would be, let's just count these real Mom. quick. Well, I gotta do that. What, what did I just ask you? Please do not yell. Can what I can do next? You may take this and bring it to the fridge. What is this? That's cabbage. I like cabbage. You do? Good. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five dresses. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen pajamas, one massager, and three lights, and the cup. That right there came out to $131. That's the non-food items that was not in my grocery budget. This over here came out to $158. So all the food was $158. All the other stuff was $131. So I think we did good. I really think that we did good. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit about what we're doing next. 